This is a quick guide to my Cubase version of Christian's Logic Hybrid Template for BBC Symphony Orchestra. You can download all the relevant files using the links below. When you first open the template file, you get a query asking if you wish to add pictures to your library. I've created lighter versions of the Spitfire icons that show up better in the dark skin Cubase. Click Add so they show up in the User section of the Track Icons menu. This video shows the hybrid version of the template. There will also be an all-in-one, individual articulations, and a stripped-out version containing blank tracks with routing already assigned. Just add your chosen instruments for a personalised template. I've hidden the routing tracks for each section on the Arrange window to keep things tidy. You can show them here by checking next to the name in the Visibility tab. All tracks are disabled when you first open the session. To enable an instrument, right-click and select Enable Track. To enable multiple tracks, shift-click and select Enable Track the same way. I've set up a keyboard shortcut on Control e that enables or disables any selected tracks. I've created expression maps for each instrument based on the selected articulations. The remote switches are assigned to the same key switches so you can audition using the defaults. If you don't wish to use expression maps, you can select no maps in the menu or remove all the expression maps from the setup window. As with Christian's logic setup, Jake's mix is selected as standard and the tree mics are up but turned off. If you wish to layer up articulations, you can duplicate a track by right-clicking and selecting Duplicate Tracks. All the relevant bus routing will be copied over. The mix console will only show enabled instrument tracks. The piccolo tracks here are routed to the group buses Winds Long and Wind Shorts, respectively. These buses have aux sends feeding the five FX tracks. The first two are populated with Cubase native reverbs as a starting point. The sends are turned on by clicking the power button on the left of each send. The four buses and FX tracks feed into the main stem in each section which is sent to the stereo mix bus. The stereo mix has some plugins as a starting point. This feeds into the mastering bus which has a limiter. When composing, listen through the track monitor. When you're ready to print, mute the track monitor and open up the print monitor bus. There are four extra stems included ready for any other instruments or audio, such as epic percussion or rhythm sections. There are blank tracks included in each stem with routing already assigned. Just add the audio or instrument of your choice. One feature of the Logic template that doesn't translate well is linking channels. In Cubase, the links are always active once assigned, so I haven't included them. If you want to link together tracks to record as one, highlight the tracks, right click, select Link Selected Tracks, Make sure Record Enable and Selection are checked, and give it a sensible name. Now when you select the tracks, they're all Record Enabled, and you can play those lovely string pads. When you're ready to print the audio, you utilise the audio tracks at the bottom of the template, hidden on the Arrange window to keep it clean. These tracks are fed from the stem buses. The four stems per section have no effects on them. The main stem in each section is a mix of the full section, including any reverbs or other effects. As mentioned earlier, when printing the audio, it's best to listen through the print monitor bus. To do this, mute the track monitor and unmute the print monitor. For this to work, you'll need the VST preference for group channels, mute sources as well, unchecked. Syncplop is included if you wish to use it. It's already routed to the stems. All you need to do is unmute before printing. There are various Windows configurations included in the project with differing layouts depending what part of the workflow you're in. When you've finished personalising, I recommend you save as a template under a category so that it will show up next time you open Cubase. I hope this is of some help. Please do let me know in the comments if there's something I've missed or there's a better method that I've not thought of.